Hi, I'm gonna talk about artists and engineers, why we need each other. Now, just so you know, I'm a little outgoing, but I am an engineer. I'm, gonna, I'm getting some feedback here, so while I'm moving around for feedback, we'll just wait for that slide chain. So I'd like to get to know you. Can I see some hands? Who might be an engineer in this room? Great. Who might be an artist in this room? I know as an artist, it's really, you might not be ready to identify yet, so that's okay, come on. Great. So one of the things that artists have taught me is that it's really interesting when people give personal stories. So I'd like to tell a story about myself. I had a career as an engineer. I still do, I think. We'll find out tomorrow. Um, I had a career as an engineer building really big websites, building really interesting things, doing a lot of exciting things. But as I was doing that, I was really starting to go really crazy. I was really thinking that people were out to get me, that people were trying to fuck F up my project. <laughs> that it's just, it was all about me, and it was all about, I would just want to yell at people all the time. I was storming out of conference rooms. I was acting like a jerk. So I took a year off. I went off to a temple that actually Steve Jobs uh, went off to. It's where he learned his love of calligraphy. I woke up at like 4.30 in the morning every day. I don't do that. I sat on a cushion silently for days on end. And I met these hippies and I farmed with them. And it was really, really, it was really visceral. It really taught me some moments. It gave me some space. And I needed some space for a minute. And one of the things that I learned in that time away is that this engineer needs artists. I need to associate with people that have knowledge and have passions that I don't understand. Now we do... <laughs> Thank you, pause for la laughter. <laughs> so, now we knew this back in 1919. There was this organization called Bauhaus in Germany, and they took craftspeople and engineers, and they had them cohabitate and learn together with artists, and they created some amazing things, and we still know this today. This book up on the screen behind me, it's this book that really taught me how to actually talk to you people. I'm an introvert. I'm scared of people. I get really drained after I interact with people. I feel really tired. Here's one of my experiences that I have every day. I'm not gonna read it, y'all literate, yeah? <laughs> if you're not, I'm not trying to microgress. I'm still gonna let that go on. <laughs> this book really helped me. It really taught me that um, I live in an extroverted world. Uh, the book pro uh, proposes that 25% of us are introverted and 75% are extroverted. And so when I made some friends that are artists, we had lessons learned and we learned things from each other actually. And so I'm going to go through a few of these. Uh, and when I go through these, neither is right. Both are right. And that's one of the things I learned in the Zen practice was that there can be two things right at the same time. It's called non-dualism. So, I have a construction uh, zone next to my office right now, and I am angry at them every day because they're screwing up everything. So I called 311. There was an artist in my building that offered them treats, right? So that was interesting. Both are good approaches. One of my friends, one of my artist friends, starving artist friends, was hungry. He was pursuing community food. Usually I'm in my fridge. I know how to, um, I know how to go through process, so I helped him apply for a link card. Another thing is, is these artists, they keep these, um, these really tattered books in their pocket, and I keep an iPhone in my pocket. I keep a calendar. They keep idea books, right? And so actually a lot of these things that I jotted down, I jotted them in my idea book, also known as my iPhone. Um, one of the most important things that I learned from the Introvert Advantage book is that I, I recharge in alone time. Artists and extroverts recharge in community, and both are valuable. Uh, artists really know how to ask for help. They build community, they build productions, they build things. Engineers like to solve problems. We know how to give help. Knowing how to do both is incredibly important. And oh, yeah, we do have to do this one. How to love. And really, that's really what, for me, that's what it's been about. When I was so angry, when I was just screaming at everyone, I, I was just afraid. I was afraid about a lot of things. I just wanted to learn how to love. So. We need each other, no matter who we might be, whether you identify as an artist, 
an engineer or otherwise, find someone that's not like you and learn from them. Thank you very much. <laughs>